when working with multiple containers, it's a great idea to use Docker Compose. Here you can see I have a simple application in Node as opposed to Python, upon which the original demonstration of this is based. Um, that is on the Docker Compose documentation page uh, on Docker's website. Now, what that one does, it creates a simple uh, web service which you can connect to, it loads a page, and it increments a counter that it uses Redis for. It's a great excuse for a demo using Redis from another image. And the way this one works is you can see that the application here uh, builds out the current directory, which has the Docker file by regular naming convention. And it binds port 3000, uh, mounts the current working directory to a slash code, which it works out of, and it depends on the other service, which is Redis, which uses the image of Redis. Now, the base node image, which um, many people get started with for testing purposes, is based off of a Debian Jesse flavor. Wanting to start moving to a more production-ready version of things, I've specified here the node boron, which is the LTS line currently, the 6.10 something currently, and I've specified the Alpine version of things. Alpine's a very lightweight Docker image, and it runs uh, just as the base Alpine image in about five megabytes of space. So if I go ahead and Docker compose, up oh, detach so I can still use my terminal, we'll see, see things come up here. If I do a Docker PS and I do a size or dash S, we'll see that my web container is about 55.6, though my dependencies, and the Redis 184. So to lean that up, I'm going to bring it back down. And I will now change my Docker Compose config to use Alpine as well. There happens to be one specified out there on the Docker Hub, which is why this is going to work rather nicely for me. And once I specify that, Once that's up, I can do the same thing, docker ps-s, and I can see that my Alpine version of Redis is now down to about 19.8 megabytes. You can see how this gets really handy in a production environment because it does lean things up rather well for efficiency. It's also best if you keep an application running on uh, the same base image so as not to provide bloat in adjacent containers on the same machine. But uh, otherwise, it's pretty handy and relatively easy to switch to. There are some more nuances if you're using it in your Docker file. But Alpine itself is relatively easy to work with. And as you can see here, the Node Boron one was so easy, I didn't need to do anything special.